this is um, this would be pretty simple. Uh, a, a couple things, in, and we'll get to how we want to touch the ball. You know, you, you talk about well, who should be our setter, and you know, when I was sitting up back in the day, uh, listening to other coaches talk, the, the the mantra was always, you know, somebody who's tall, left-handed, big hands. Yeah, those are all over the place, right? So, the the best setter that we had was five eight, had small hands, and but the thing that she did have was was really fast feet. And I think uh, if you're identifying your setter, the the first thing you look for is can they move? You know, can they move around the court? Uh, the the second thing I really would like for setters to have, and I, I'm glad Callie's here. Because we always, we always ask them, are you a good dancer? I'm not, no. You asked me that. We need, we need a setter? <laughs> no. no, because to me, setting is so much about foot movement and having the ability to have some rhythm, OK? Um, not that you, as a coach, have 100% control over that, but if you, if you get a kid that has some sort of rhythm to the skill, and I think that's regardless of skill. I think anything you want to do repetitively, the chances of repeating it well are a lot higher if you're some sort of tempo rhythm to the skill. So, so that's a big deal. Um, if we're going to focus on how we release the ball, um, you, the, the ball's round, so shape your hands to the ball. Um, and go ahead, put it up above your head. You've done this before, right? <laughs> yeah. um, the thing that, uh, let's go walk this way. The thing that a lot of setters, especially when uh, you guys are raising your hands, there's a lot of high school age coaches, they, players tend to get kind of small with their hands, okay? We, we try to use keywords, get big hands, okay? Not big to the point that they're, you're, you're, you're stiff, but spread your fingers, be relaxed, big hands, okay? And we, the other thing, as we go through this, these skills and you know, the next 24 hours, this is just my deal. I'm, I'm really big into kind of conceptual things and then, then letting the player work inside of that. I'm not big on, okay, this, this needs to be, eh, you know, about, eh, eh, that's too far. Eh. They don't have time for that. So if we just say big hands, kind of wrap them around the ball, um, and then let every player is going to be a little bit different in that regard, okay? The thing, when I, I've left Ohio State, what, six years ago, seven years ago now, and I've had the, the good fortune of being able to um, watch what's going on around the world a lot with the youth and junior national teams. Every setter has their style. And I used to be one of those guys that you got to do this, you got to be like this. And it's like, nah, if they can do some big picture things well, then, then they, we let them just be athletic. Put those hands up there. <laughs> You're good. So she's here, ball's at her midline. The only thing that I would do that I emphasize that I know might be kind of different is we want to try and get, as she releases the ball, to kind of get where it's a chest pass in basketball where the thumbs are grabbed, the ball's thumbs come under. And we want, put your hands here, I'm going to take the ball out and leave your hands up. So we want pretty much her hands to be in the same position when she finishes as when she starts. Okay, so if that's kind of her starting position, big hands, Thumbs kind of pointing to each other. The ball's round, so make your hands round. And as she comes through, I'll take the ball, leave your hands. Her hands are pretty much in the same way. Okay, and, and that, you can relax now. Good job. That would be the, I guess the takeaway is my point of emphasis is a lot of times you get kids that'll set and, and they get a lot of this going on or that going on. And if we can just get where I go from here to there, and it's not, the, it's not the worst thing in the world not, if we're just doing some setting teaching that as they set, if the ball would kind of come out with a little bit of backspin back towards them. Because all that means is their, their thumbs kind of came under. You'll get some setters that kind of tend to come over the top and they finish this way. And those sets tend to die inside. So we try to get where here, keep your hands big, keep your fingers spread. 